is me and today I was thinking of doing a video all about sort of pony club camp or riding camps and things like that because um, I've been fortunate to, enough to go to camp since 2011 and I've been going every single year and I really enjoy it and it's been a really requested video for me to do because I know quite a few of you you're either going to camp for your first time or maybe you've been to camp many times before like me or a couple times before and you just want to see what my pony club camp's like because that's basically what I'm going to be talking about and a lot of people don't realise but you don't have to take your own horse to camp loads of people I know take loan ponies which is absolutely fine so you don't feel like you can't go to camp just because you don't have your own horse so in my pony club there are three different camps there's mini camp, junior camp and senior camp obviously I go to senior camp at the moment I never went to mini camp I was really lucky that I was able to go to junior camp when I got Mickey after that because my parents both aren't horsey and I'd say if especially if your parents aren't horsey doing pony club is really really good you learn so much about horses and everything like that and I feel like your parents are more involved because they have to take you rather than just like dropping you off at the yard and things like that mini camp is two days so it's mainly for like really young people being led on the relief train and things like that and then junior camp I think it's four days at my junior camp your parents drive you in in the horse box with you and your horse and then you're there sort of for the day but then you get driven back home so you don't sleep overnight I'm mainly going to be talking about senior camp because I feel like that's the one that I probably know the best that's the one I've been going to recently there's quite a different like step between junior camp and senior camp and I feel like that's what quite a lot of people have been asking me some people have been like oh I'm really nervous you don't need to be nervous camp is supposed to be about having fun and that's the main thing and I'm just going to be like talking to you, what you sort of do there, stuff like that, just so you sort of can see what it's like at my camp. I'm not going to say what pony club I'm in, just because I've been asked this a few times and it's sort of like a personal thing because when you say where your pony club is, it's a bit like saying where your school is, but or where your yard is and stuff like that, it's just because I don't want people to find out where I live. So yeah, and also there are other people in my videos that like might be in the background of like riding clinics and stuff and it's also their personal information saying which pony club I'm in. The day before camp, what I usually do is just pack everything. I actually have a video on things that I pack for camp, but I'm going to remake it this year and I'm going to do two different ones. I'm going to do everything I pack for Casper and then the other one is going to be everything I pack for myself. Also, when you're packing, you'll get given a form which will say like everything you need to pack, obviously. My pony club's different to yours, so you'll need like different things and stuff like that, depending on what activities and stuff you do. But usually it's sort of like the same things. Then the day of camp, get there early. Want a good place to park your horse box or trailer, because if not, you will end up having your horse box parked right down the bottom. And the whole week at camp, you'll have to walk all the way up and all the way down <laughs> to get things like feed, shavings and hay stuff like that so and it's just so annoying having to walk all the way up and down because you're going to get tired enough at camp you don't want like any more extra walking so with my pony club camp the first thing you do when you arrive do not get your horse out of the trailer or horse box this is like the one thing that my pony club really like likes to hit home is do not get your horse out of the trailer the first thing you want to do is go to like one of the yard girls or people running camp and be like oh i'm here and they're like great okay can you get it's i can't remember which way around it is they either say tack or they say helmet and body protector because at my camp we do cross country so you need a body protector and medical armband so you need to take that off to make sure that you have that stuff so whatever they say so you go get your tack so saddle and bridle and they just check it over check the stitching everything like that and make sure that nothing is like loose and nothing's gonna break while you're riding so it's really safe and really good and then when you bring your helmet body protector over they need to check that it's the standard one so that's one thing you really need to check last year I had to buy a whole new body protector even though it was like only a year old or something it's because the pony club redid the whole safety feature so it had to be the newest one so that was why I had to get a new body protector so make sure that you've got the correct standard helmet and body protector for if you're doing cross country with the pony club so yeah they check it all over that's all good they've checked your tack they also need to check your horse's passport to make sure it's had its recent injections you have to have your horse recently like up to date with its flu and tet jabs so that's like the most sort of important thing 
I also need to make sure that your horse is fit enough for camp. So recently I've been riding Casper like twice a day in the um, evenings and really early in the mornings. So then there's sort of like he has a break at midday sort of in between. So yeah, they check it all over. That's all good. Take it back and then you go back again and then they say, okay, your stable number is this. Because at my camp, all the horses are in stables and they're in stables for the whole week. They're there isn't really anywhere they, they can go in a field just because there are so many horses and things like that. So that's a little bit of a shame because I like my horses to, like, to be kept in a field. But it's not the end of the world because, to be honest, they are going to be so tired by the end of the week. So yes, yeah, so you get allocated your stable and then, still with your horse in the trailer, not out yet, you go and get all your stuff. So your brushes, your grooming things, yard brush, shovel, and then there's a little gap between the stables and the fence and down there there's like a little alleyway and that's where you put all, all that stuff and then you want to get your stable now this is the mistake I made on my first year at camp so I would get a shovel or a fork and just fluff up all the shavings and look underneath somebody had just got a little bit of shavings put it all over the wee and poo so it looked like it was brand new because you get given a free bale of shavings because at my camp it's only shavings you can't have straw so I put a bale of shavings over the top and then when I was fluffing it up together I realised that there was a wee underneath and it was really gross so I had to like completely remove everything and stuff like that so definitely check for um, that the shavings clean before you put your free bale of shavings down on top and so um, then you get your water buckets out, fill them up, everything like that, put hay in there so it's completely done, your stable is like ready for your horse to go in and, yeah, and then you get your horse, you lead it up the stable, put it in the stable, make sure it's all settled. Like most camps, I think you stay in like a tent and stuff, but with mine, we're quite lucky. We stay in like a little lodge, so it's indoors, but the rooms are really, really cramped. They're in like bunk beds that are sort of like squeaky and stuff. A lodge sort of place where we're staying at is on the same grounds, but they're quite far away, so we um, bring our own like bikes so we cycle up to the like stables so then you get out your bike i wouldn't recommend bringing a bike helmet because the whole time you're just wearing a riding helmet and they're as protective really or maybe even a riding helmet is more protective and then your parents will drive up all your stuff so sleeping bag or bedding and suitcase and everything like that so as they're driving up you cycle up on your bike but that's once everybody has got there and everybody has put, taken their horse out and it arrived and everything like that so while you're waiting if you do get there early which you should what we usually do is we set up the jumps in the jump arena with our pony club we have to bring our own jumps to the venue where it's set because our pony club doesn't actually own the venue but we like hire out for the week and then you cycle up and then everyone's there and then you say goodbye to your parents give them a hug Quite a lot of people are wondering what to wear when you first get to camp. It really doesn't matter. Yeah, I usually just wear my green um, pony club polo top. I would wear short sleeves on the first day because the first day you don't jump. And in my pony club you have to wear long sleeves if you want to jump. And then you have lunch. It's usually just sort of like sandwiches or something on the first day. And um, you get allocated into what ride and team you are. So there are four teams at my pony club and in those teams you do all the points from camp are added up together so you can sort of think of them as like harry potter houses kind of thing but horsey i don't know <laughs> but less sort of hogwarts like you get points every day for how clean your bedroom is how clean your stable is how clean your tack is how clean your horse is how well you've ridden that day and help the yard girls sweep the yard or help put the jumps up when you first arrive at camp you get points for that and just do as much as you can really to help out other people because it is really helpful if you do help out and it's also really good for your team yeah so you get allocated to your team and you get given a free t-shirt which is pretty cool this is my camp t-shirt from 2015 i was in the pink team and then you also get sorted out which ride you're in if it is your first year at camp then they always have a ride for people who haven't been to camp before you will still be put with people your own age and who are doing their first year at camp as well. When you get 
older, they're the two senior rides where there are people who have been to camp like loads of times before. If you're really, really worried about going to senior camp and you know somebody who's going that is in your age group and it's both your first time at camp, I wouldn't worry too much because you're most likely going to be put in the same group as them. If not, you'll make so many friends at camp, so I wouldn't be too worried. So yeah, after you've had like the talk and everything like that and um, you get allocated to your team and your ride, then you go down to the yard, groom and tack up your horses and then you ride. At my camp there are three like sand rubber like arenas. One we use for show jumping which is down at the bottom near the sort of stables and then two are up at the top which is quite near the lodge that we're sort of staying at. We have another sand arena down at the bottom and in there we have a technical cross country course. You can link together and do sort of like a cross country type of exercise so they're usually just like normal poles and stuff like that but it's in an arena and then they also have um, a big field which we mainly use for dressage they put a little you know the little white board that goes around with the letters so on the first day on the monday you don't do any jumping, don't worry, you don't need to worry. On the first day, your instructor will ask you questions like how long have you had your horse or have been learning your horse, what height do you compete at, what sort of things do you like doing together, just stuff like that so they get to know you and your horse, know your weaknesses and know where they can help you over the week. And even if you have a horse that you don't know very well, that's totally fine. I only had Casper for like a month or something. After camp, like literally you feel like you know your horse at like the back of your hand afterwards. Now once you've untacked and everything, you cycle back up to the lodge that you're staying at. And then I'm pretty sure you take all your stuff up to your room. Quite a lot of people, the thing they're most worried about is who they sleep with in a dorm or in a room at camp. Um, we have like separate rooms, which is actually quite nice. It's like a small room, one bunk bed, but one bunk bed has like two beds. So you're in like a room with one other person. In the past, we tried to fit three people in one room and it's just too small at our camp. So upstairs is where the girls go, downstairs is where the boys go, but also there's a dorm on the downstairs as well. And that's usually where the sort of older girls go or people who have been to camp before. Things like that, so I might be going to the dorm this year. Don't get worried about who's going to be in your room. If you haven't been to camp before or you don't know anybody. I know people who have like never been to camp before, only just joined the pony club before they go to camp. Don't know anybody and then they've been like completely fine. We've never had like any problems with who they're going to sleep with. You'll find somebody to sleep with, it's fine. There, there might be other people like you who haven't been to camp before and you might make really nice friends. So. Don't get, don't get stressed over it, it's fine, don't get worried. So I would definitely pick your room before you bring all your stuff up because that's what I did in the first year. I got all my stuff and I like lugged it all the way up the stairs to the upstairs and had to like walk all the way down the corridor to our room. If you do, just like bring a pillow or just like a jumper even and just like bring upstairs, be like, this is our room, okay? And just chuck your pillow or your jumper on the bed or like a small like rucksack or something just so people know that that room has been taken. And then you have dinner after that and um, usually the food's really good, so I hope it's this good again this year. They feed you so much, it's so good because I just get so hungry because I get so tired at camp. So literally you're either riding or eating and then in the evening you do like an evening activity with your team I can't remember what we do for each night I think they change it up sometimes they do like a little scavenger hunt they hide different pieces of tack around the whole showground that we're staying at and you have to try and find them all or they sometimes do like a quiz on the Tuesday night we usually have race night go out onto the field on the cross country course and they have like a little race and then whoever wins goes into the next round and then there's like a pony at the end who wins and you don't have to do the racing there's no pressure on you especially if it's your first year at camp if you're sort of thinking should i do it should i not i would recommend just watching and then you can see what it's like and you think my horse would love that i'll do it next year or you might think oh my horse might get a bit too excited or oh, my horse might be a bit tired by the end of the week at camp might not do that and another night and we have a visitor come over one year we actually had um walk it Woy come to our camp so that was pretty cool another year we had somebody who rides side saddle come do like a little demonstration thing sometimes get a blow up obstacle course i think that's usually on the friday and um you basically have to run through and they do sort of like a race with you like running through the obstacle course and it's actually really really fun each day they give you like there's like a little timetable on the wall depending on what ride you're in that says what activities you'll be doing so at my camp you ride twice a day once in the morning once in the afternoon so they usually do like 
cross country, they partner with flat work on the same day just because if the horses get tired cross country, then in the afternoon you'll do flat work for like half the session, then the other half the session you'll do stable management. So if you have pony club tests, for example, if you're doing your C plus or your B or your, even your C or things like that, they just sort of do like care and we did parts of the hoof, so white line, the sole, the sensitive lamina, all the stuff on the inside of the hoof as well. So that was really interesting and you just learn so much. And then on the other days, obviously, you have grid work or show jumping or dressage or flat work and those sort of things. And it's just really fun. I really enjoy camp. It's like the thing I get most excited about. That's sort of camp. If you have any questions, then just comment down below and I'll try to answer them. And if you go to a different camp and some of these things are different to yours, feel free to comment what's different. And um, I think that'll be quite interesting to see what your camp's like. I don't usually do sit down videos. I hope this wasn't too boring. If you're going to camp this year, then I hope you have lots of fun. And I will see you in my next video.